guys welcome to the pc tips pro and in today's video we are going to learn about the google sites in the google sites we're gonna learn about how to update and personalize your site so before getting into the video if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the pc tips pro please do subscribe and now let's get into the video so firstly uh, the first thing which we are going to see here is add content to your site so how can you add your own content like how can you customize your site by adding your own content to your site so firstly on the right you can go to the pages and here you do have all the pages that are present on your site so you can just click on any of the page where you want to customize or where you want to add your own content so let's say i want to add my content in the activities page so it will take you to the activities page uh, so that you can just see it here and you can go to the insert and you can insert any of this into your page so now let's understand how to use this all one by one so firstly the text box so here we use this text box to add titles and text so let's click on this and here you can see that you got a text box where you can add your uh, title or any text like let's see uh, we can just give uh, some title called topics and you can just uh, select this font and also you can give the text color you can make it bold and many more things and in this way you can do it or else you can even just uh, insert a link with this text also like just click here and give the link where this uh, where uh, the user clicking on this will be re redirected to so you can just give any link here as of now i don't give any link and also you can uh, click on the like you can choose the alignment too and if you don't want this you can even click on remove so this is how this text box is used and second one is images by using the images you can add photos designs and other images so you can just click here and you can see uh, you can either upload it from your pc or, or else you can just uh, select it from the already already found images like you know uh, the images that are present in the google search or else by url you can find them or else from the photos you can find them so it's like that and when it comes to the next one so firstly let's just give some up, upload some image here i'll just click on the select to upload any default image if i do have so let's go by the google search and here you can see many of the images are present in the google search so make sure that you don't uh, insert the images with which have the copyright which may be uh, which may be bad thing for your site so mostly use the uh, no copyright images or else your own images so let's say i want to add this image click on the image and click on insert so you can see that this image has been inserted here you can even change this size and even you can link this image so you can give some link so that the person who clicks on this image will be redirected to the particular link so this is how i made my image to look like and then we'll see the third thing that is embed so this embed will be uh, will help us to add content directly from the web such as music and videos and many more things from the web so let's click on this embed and let's see how it works so here you can see you do have two options that is by url or by embed code so if you want to do it by url you can just give any url here of your choice like where you want to redirect or where you want to embed your things uh, from the particular url or else you do have your embed code so what's exactly this embed code i'll just give you an example to understand this so here you can see a youtube video and let's say you want to embed this youtube video onto your site so here you, you see three dots click on this three dots and look for share oh yeah you do have share here so click on the share and here you find a, a icon called as ember click on ember and here you can see that uh, the embed code is written here so let's copy down this embed code let's copy this code or else you do have this copy option here after copying this let's go back here and let's paste it and click on next and you can see what it is 
and then now let's uh, click on insert and now you got your video here so you can even uh, increase the width and height of this video and uh, when you're all done you can just adjust it and also you can even edit it like you can edit the code whenever you want so this is the ideal code which you need to copy and paste or else if you want your video to start from a particular time uh, you can even do that just by uh, going here and clicking on start at like you can change the start at time and you can get the other code for that so in this way you can add your youtube videos to your site and now let's get back to our site and the next one is drive so uh, in the using this drive option we can embed any file from your dri drive or the contents of the folder stored in drive if you make changes to your files in drive the same changes automatically show in the sites like if you take any file from your drive and if you after some time if you make any changes to your folders on the drive the same changes will be applicable to the uh, things that you have inserted like the files that you have inserted on your site and let's scroll down and see other options too here you can see table of contents which will uh, by selecting which you can add a table of contents let's click on it and let's see so in this way you can add some contents to your site and also let's go for the next one that is image carousel so using this you can able to create and insert image carousels so let's click on it so this is something like a slideshow or uh, you can just firstly add the images to visualize it properly so we at least uh, need two images to add this uh, carousel so let's go to the google image search and let's check for the education pictures so let's select any three images for now you can even add many more it's uh, it works well with uh, two or more images so let's choose two images and click on insert okay let me add one more image so that you can visualize much better so let's quickly add this click on insert and you can see that here is our image carousel and then the next option is button so using this button you can add buttons which link to other content within your site or to the external url so you can just click on the button and can give the name to your button like let's say enroll now is my button as it is my education site uh, related site so i would link it to classes maybe or else i can even link it to the external url so for now i'll just link it to my own uh, site pages so click on insert and here you can see uh, let's uh, so you can even um, move this like this so in order so that you can you'll be able to easily visualize this so if a person or if your visitor clicks on this it'll be taken to your page called as classes uh, the page which is internally in your site and let's go check the next one that is divider so the divider will add a divider line to your page so let's see how it works. click on the divider and you can see that how it how it is working so yeah so here you can see that it added a line horizontal line to your page you can use this youtube option to embed your images from the youtube by just clicking here and directly searching for your youtube video and then inserting it or else you can even follow the previous method that is to embed the uh, youtube videos using this embed option too both are uh, quite good and when it comes to the calendar option you can use this calendar option to add calendars such as team or event calendars so by this uh, you will be able to add all the important events of your uh, company or your organization using this calendar option and then next comes the maps so adding uh, by this we can add the maps such as your office location or even direction or you can even make the custom maps and next comes the docs slides sheets forms charts so by these are all uh, various things that you can add onto your site like add, adding anything from docs slides 
sheets forms or charts form sheets to your site any content you change in the source file automatically updates on your site so in this way you can personalize and customize your site by using all this insert options uh, available on your google sites so in this way you can do all this personalization and customization for your site so this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the pc tips pro and thank you for watching guys